Who's coming over today? Wait, can we say it again? Yes, yeah. say it. Drake Bell. Drake hey. Bell. And who is that to Brandon? I love... You guys won't believe he was in love with him to the point that... Okay, okay, okay. Listen, okay, listen. listen. I was a kid, I love... I swear to the point that he wanted to marry him. No, no, said, oh no. God. Just because I love Drake and Josh. Listen. Guys, I'm so excited. Me and Brian growing up, all we watched was Drake and Josh. I loved basketball and I would, I always would watch basketball. But if there was one show that I would watch every single episode of, I love Drake and Josh. I love that show. In a ton of my vlogs, I always throw in phrases from Drake Bell or throw in phrases from Josh Peck just randomly. And a lot of people catch on. They're like, hey, isn't that from Drake and Josh? And I'll be like, yeah. It was just like Drake Bell's coming to our house. Listen. I'm not fangirling at all, obviously, but I'm just joking. Loki, I am fangirling right now, but Drake Bell's coming to our house. If you told me like five or six years ago, if you told a 16 year old Brandon saying, hey Brandon, in five years, Drake Bell's going to be coming to your house. I'd be like, what, what drugs are you on? You're crazy. Drake Bell would never come to my house. Did you buy a ring? Mom. I know. <laughs> Listen. Listen. For both of them. No. Just because I love Drake and Josh does not mean I want to marry Drake. The girl I'm going to marry is right there. Oh. However, Drake Bell can be my best man. <laughs> Listen, guys. I have a really, really funny story to tell you guys. And I'm not going to tell you right now. I'm going to wait until Drake gets here. And we're going to tell the story together. He doesn't even know the story. This is crazy. Like... My whole childhood is gonna be standing right. I'm telling you guys, I know every episode, I know every line, and me and Brian always joke around. Like, we just always say the lines about Drake and Josh. My whole childhood is gonna be standing right here in my home. Papa Nichols. Yeah, Papa Nichols. <laughs> See, my dad knows. <laughs> <laughs> and dad remember at the theater whoa just take it easy man <laughs> i mean i'm not fangirling obviously like i'm just he's just a friend i'm just excited to see him oh so. yeah just casual it's casual guys <laughs> i literally couldn't sleep last night tell them oh my god yeah wait at five in the morning or i don't even know yeah i think it was five in the morning he literally wakes me up and goes wait babe like do you know he's coming tomorrow and guys like, oh I'll my god <laughs> That's like the seventh time he had woken me up in the middle of the night just to tell me that. I don't know. This is, it, it's just insane. So I'm really excited. If you can't tell, I have to stop smiling for the past few hours. So Drake, this family loves you. We can't wait to meet you. My mom, dad, my brother, we all love the show. Guys, this is how you know it's important. I'm not wearing a white t-shirt and basketball shorts. I'm actually, you know, I'm actually low key dressed. So that's how you know it's important to me. Okay, so it looks like Bosley's excited too. Is he waiting for Drake? Like, he wants to be the first person to see him. Is that you? You used yeah, my dad. Head. My dad loved Drake and Josh. Our whole family would sit together, watch every episode. Shout out Walter. Shout out Drake. Shout out Helen. Shout out. Mer oh, my <laughs> shout out Josh. Shout out Megan. Papa Nichols. <laughs> And I can't wait to tell you guys a story. You guys, like, this story is it's hilarious. And it's gonna be even funnier when I tell it in front of Drake. He's gonna be like, what? So just wait till he gets here and you don't wanna miss out on the story part. Now ask me, am I fangirling? Are you fangirling? No, this yes. is just, it's just like another regular day in my life. Now oh, ask okay. me, am, am I nervous? Are you nervous? No, why would I be nervous? It's just, he's just, it's just a human, like, just. Now ask me, are, are you excited? Are you excited? Yeah, I mean, I am. It's it's okay. Like, I'm pretty excited. It's no big deal, but... Guys, I'm so freaking excited. I can't even hide it, but we'll see. Yeah. Ask him, is he gonna eat the burrito? <laughs> No. I can't even eat. I'm too excited. Look, this burrito has been sitting here for 20 minutes and I can't Bosley. eat. Guys, you guys might think I'm nervous or excited. I think my dad is secretly fangirling the most. He's so nervous. My dad used to love Drake and Josh just as much as me. Watch. I honestly think he's more nervous than anyone, but he doesn't show it. Are you excited? Yeah. How nervous? I'm not. <laughs> No, I think you're the most nervous and you no, don't you show up. Not me. <laughs> my dad's lying. <laughs> Drake was literally my inspiration. Imagine I was a kid and I would look at Drake on the TV show and I'd be like, how many girls does he make out with? 
This dude was like a 16 or 17 year old boy making out with every fucking girl that came his way on the show. No, that's where I learned how to make out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm sitting here in school when I was like 16, 17, and I'm like, damn, I can't even get a girl to come my way. And Drake is over there on the show making out with every single girl. But that's where I learned how to make out, so shout out. Yeah. Did I learn good? Yeah, you did, but you're also a cheater. Wait, how many times did Drake cheat on his girlfriends on the show? No, Drake was never a cheater, ever. <laughs> of course, Jackie's in love with Megan because she's crazy like her. Megan was not even that crazy. Yes, she was. Don't you remember? Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I do it? Megan. Huh? Yeah. Jackie. Do you remember Crazy Steve? <laughs> Guys, I just made Jackie quiz me. Oh, I bet you don't know Bruce Winchell. Yes, I do. No, who is he? He's the one with the nice hair that you don't really see. Oh, he talks about you him. do know him. Mm -hmm. Quiz me one time. Who's Megan? Or what's her last name? Nichols or Parker? Parker, duh. It's Josh Nichols, Drake Parker. Oh, do you remember when he says, Hey, hey, don't beat that boy with a banana. Guys, I would rather have Drake Bell come to the house than Drake, you know, the real Drake. I'll I'm, I'm not lying, Mom. No, he <laughs> No, you love Drake Bell. I don't think I've ever heard. I was just a fan of the show. I don't know why they're saying. No, I'm just joking. Wait till you hear the story. <laughs> we are about to meet Drizzy Drake. Hey. The real Drizzy Drake. You know, everyone thinks Drake is, you know, with the part in the hair and all that. No, this is the real Drizzy Drake. He's six god right here. We're about to meet the six god, Drizzy. Okay, guys, they're here. So now you just add casual with me. Okay, babe. There's pretend you're editing. Pretend yeah. you're editing. This is my practice. Oh, hey, what's up, Drake? Who's here? <laughs> Look, mom, here's my practice. What? Hey, what's up, Drake? Yeah, how are Wait, you? sitting like that? And then you paint. That's what I think. <laughs> no, they're, they're here. They're here. <laughs> Wait, let me show in the camera. Yeah, I, I locked the door. Should I unlock it? Dad, why'd you lock the door? Why'd you lock the door? <laughs> Here, guys. Drizzy Drake is here, the oh. sixth god. Oh my god. <laughs> I see him. Oh, yeah, I swear to God. Hey, wait. Wait, hold on. Someone call 911. I'm about to have a heart attack. Wait, it's not focusing. Uh, I'm about to have a heart Babe, attack. Babe, your camera isn't right? focusing. Yeah, I swear. Oh. No, now it's focusing. Is it focused? Yeah. Hey, let's hide and scare him. Mom, I can't. What do you mean that? hide and scare him? Let's just hide everywhere. No, my heart hard. hurts, yeah? Oh. It's gonna take some time to realize. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nice to meet you too. Hi. Yeah, she keep giving me love. Oh my god, this is so nice to meet you. So crazy. <laughs> I feel like I already know everybody. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jackie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're not pregnant, right? Huh? Not pregnant. No, right? no, I'm not. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I was like, wait. <laughs> I was just watching my girlfriend. Oh, really? Yeah. I need to do one thing for the camera. Hug me, bro! Wait, you gotta do it one more time because the camera. Okay, okay, okay. One more. Hug me, brother! I've been waiting for you. He's gonna faint after, like, in a couple minutes. You. Whoa, just take it easy, man. Take it easy, man. It's so funny because in, in Mexico, everything's translated. And so when I go to Mexico, they ask me, I do a lot of uh, touring and stuff in Mexico, and they ask me to say lines from the show, but they're all in Spanish. No oh. way. Oh. But that one is a, oh, oh, whoa, take it easy, man, is a big one down there, but it's, oye, tranquilo, viejo. <laughs> yeah, because it's like, whoa, take it easy, old man. Yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> the star Wait, does Bosley not realize who he is? Like, I know, Bosley's just like, oh. Dude, that, that's my dad. You calling me a liar? I ain't calling you a truther. <laughs> you calling me a liar? I ain't calling you a truther. Who was um that crazy sister, you know, from Drake and Josh? What was it? Make it! <laughs> Jay! <laughs> we brought Jay over to meet Drake. Oh my god. <laughs> Junior's a huge fan. Thank you. Very good. I watched your video. I, I watched your show so much, and I'll take it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you check yourself out. In the <laughs> His name is Junior, but he goes by Jay. <laughs> so, so you gotta say it for him. Say Jay. Jay. Yeah. Oh my That's God. good. That's pretty good. I have a favorite episode, and it's my dad's favorite too. I think you could tell us which one it was, Papa. USA.
USA! 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 Papa Nichols! Papa Nichols! Hey. Papa Nichols. USA! 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 We're bringing Drake into our culture. Middle Eastern food for Drake Parker, aka Drake Bell. We go with Drake Parker here. Yeah, our Drake Parker hair. Yeah, the Drake Parker hair. Guys, you thought my dad or me or anyone else was a big Drake fan? Bosley's the biggest fan. <laughs> He's been letting him pet him all day. You like that, Bosley? Oh, he's a good Bosley boy. What was your favorite episode, Bosley? <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> I think he liked when uh, the dude carved the rubber duck with the soap. I was gonna say his favorite was Vicious Tiberius. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that oh was God. it? Yeah. Oh my God, Tiberius. Was your favorite when we were watching Tiberius? <laughs> Crazy bird, I found a way, I found a way. Okay, so what is going on, you guys? Brandon here, aka Bawadis, and as promised, I am here with... Drake Bell. Drake Bell, Drake Parker, whatever you guys know him as. Well, first of all, let me say, um, my fanboy, fanboying that was going on earlier this morning has calmed down, so I'm a little cool now, you see? <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna be telling you guys a story. He doesn't even know. I told you guys I'll wait till he gets here before I share it with you guys. It's gonna be hilarious. You think I was fanboying this morning? Wait till you see what happened when I was 18 years old. So, I don't know if you remember this moment. You performed at Mira Mesa High School. Yep. That's the high school I went to, and that was when my brother was a senior. So my brother was there, and they had told him they were gonna have a special guest, you know, I was in college, my first year of college. I'm just sitting there like, who's gonna be the special guest? Cause they told us my senior year, they would have a special guest. You know who it ended up being? The school security guard what? turned into a rapper for that day. What? And he, they hyped it up like it was gonna be, I don't know, Eminem or someone's gonna come to our school. They were like, guys, we got a special guest. They hyped it up all year long. And it's my senior year, so I'm super hyped my last year. The school security guard turned into a rapper for one day and performed. So I'm in college and Brian's telling me about some special guest and I'm like, yeah, it's probably gonna be some security guard or you know, some, I don't know, some underground rapper. And it turned out to be Drake Bell, okay? <laughs> and I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm like, yo, to other people, this might be just Drake Bell, okay, whatever. To me, that was my whole childhood and I'm sitting there in class, I'm like, wait, no way, I started texting my brother, Brian, you can hop in on okay, this. Okay, no, for real, I was just gonna say, like, <laughs> when they announced that Drake Bell was coming to my school, I was so hyped, like, I was so excited. It's fucking Drake it's Bell, Drake. what are you <laughs> talking about? So, like, Brian, tell them, what were the texts that you started receiving? My brother, first off, like, was spamming me, saying, like, I'm... I want to meet him. Like <laughs> he started sending me pictures for. Like, well, I was gonna get into that later. Okay, so okay. I started spamming his phone, and I'm sitting there in class. Like I still remember, we're trying to go over a study guide for my final, and I'm like, "Yo, I, I'm about to drop out of college. Like I'm about to. I don't, really don't care about this final right now." So um, Brian was gonna meet him after, and I started sending him pictures off of Google. I was like, "Okay, go to the library, pay the ten cents, whatever the fine is to print the picture, print it, and get it signed. Say to Brandon." And he's like, Brandon, I can't go to the library and get this printed out. I'm like, Brian, please just go. I can't meet him. I kept trying to find ways to get out of college, and I couldn't go. So I'm texting Brian. I'm texting him, blah, blah. And Brian, he's sending me videos of Drake. It makes me happy. That, okay? That's my favorite song. Because it makes me Drake, happy. Give us, give us one take. Of makes me happy? Yeah. Hello, let's go. Everybody oh. loves no buzz and a heart. Like a bomb, song. We're gonna get copyrighted because it sounds so good. <laughs> so anyways, Brian's just making me more and more jealous. So, point is, Brian ends up meeting Drake and what Brian did, he got me a Drake Bell CD. And he got it signed by Drake Bell. Drake didn't know who the fuck I was. He was like, okay, whatever, you want me to sign this? So, Brian got this for me and I think it's hilarious because right when they said that Drake was coming today, I knew exactly where this CD was. I went and pulled it out. Yo. I've never listened to a CD. I just wanted the autograph. So we got the autograph. I've had this in my room forever. But that wasn't good enough. I wanted to meet him. So the whole day I was just like, Brian, you're so lucky. What the heck? And Brian kept showing me the picture. And um, we went out to eat later that night. Yeah, that's what I was that's saying. That's the so, picture. There's a picture. We went out to eat later that night, me, Brian, and my cousins. And the whole time they're just like, oh, Brian, you got to meet Drake, blah, blah. And I'm just sitting there like, yeah, It's like Brian. depressed. I'm like, you got to meet Drake, huh? How was that? I was all mad. I was like, point is, Months later, my brother graduated, and so, you know, when people graduate, they have signs of, the family comes with signs of their faces. I decided to go get a real-life printout of my brother when he met Drake Bell, and I was there at his graduation. This was like two months after we met him, so I still wasn't over it after a couple months. I was just being petty. I was like, okay, so everyone else's family has pictures of just their kid. 
I'm gonna have a picture of Brian and Drake though, and I was holding <laughs> it up, and I was like, Brian, you made Drake, oh my gosh, all this. <laughs> So, I still have this, I still have the autograph CD, and three years later, two and a half years later, I'm sitting here with Drake Bell. Like, what are the odds? That's crazy. That's crazy, so. Full I, circle. Full circle, exactly. I just wanted to share that really funny story. I was hurt. I'm, I was like, I'm done with college. I don't care, I'm gonna go meet Drake. Well, he made it up to you, man. Exactly, yeah, exactly. You, you guys really. all made it up. Thank you, Brian. I Earlier today. <laughs> yeah! We're all, I don't know which part you want to sing from the theme song, but we're oh, all going to sing it. I don't care which part, I love the theme song, that was my favorite part. <clears throat> well, uh, I never thought that it'd be so simple, but I found a way, I found a way. If you open up your mind, see what's inside. It's going to take some time to realize, Ooh, but if you look inside, I'm sure you'll find story so some people might think he's just here at the house you know oh you got to meet drake bell that's cool but you guys don't understand i was so i was so mad uh So last part of this video before we go, because we're about to go meet a ton of fans at the park. We tweeted out, so me, Drake, and my brother are about to go. I'm gonna give my cousin a call who was there sitting next to me at Stacked. Amanda, I feel bad for you. I know you're just trying to enjoy your dinner. I'm gonna just see if she remembers that night. So. Oh, she was there the she night. She was there uh, at the dinner. Okay guys, we're getting Amanda on the call. Amanda's a huge Drake and Josh fan too. Hello? Amanda. Brandon. First and foremost, say what's up to Drake Bell. Hey. hey! Hey, what's up? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what's what? going on? What up? I'm gonna see you soon. Oh, you're coming, really? Yes. Okay, wait, Amanda. So now you're on video. I want you to tell us. Okay. So yeah. when we, we went to Stack that night, I'm sure you remember, you went just to like have a nice dinner with the family. What did you end up experiencing with me? What what went on okay, then? Honestly, Brandon would just not shut up. He actually like ruined the dinner almost. <laughs> When he found out that you were coming to Mary Mesa and that he was not going to be able to see you, he just literally could not stop talking about it. it and he kept so telling cool. us, it's not fair, it's not fair. I was going to yell at Brand, Brian, meeting him so he could meet you and everything. He's like, do anything it takes. I need a picture of him. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. So, He's literally, he was literally upset. Okay, oh Amanda, gosh. you're making me blush. Stop. <laughs> we're on camera. I know, I know. That's how crazy it is that Drake Bell is right here at the house. Amanda, thank you so much. This wasn't planned at all. This I just called it. All right, I'll yeah. see you soon, Amanda. All right, Amanda. Bye. 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 Aww. Not a planned phone call, nothing. I just called my cousin. She answered. There you have it. So, wow. thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Thank you, Drake, for coming down. I hope yeah. you had. A really good time, a really fun experience. Had a blast. Drake actually has a YouTube channel. So if you guys want to go check out his videos, his link is going to be in the description below. So go show him some subscribe. love. Yeah, subscribe! Yeah, subscribe! Check it out! Go comment some really nice things. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video and kind of experiencing a really, really cool day with me. Other than that, Brandon out. Drake out. And? Rug out. <laughs> Peace, guys. The lady who was just on the phone, my cousin, decided to show up. So. <laughs> Shout out, Amanda. Amanda, so insight on that night. It's a great night, huh? I don't want to repeat it. I kind of forget it, to be honest. I think I gave everyone a headache that <laughs> night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, only it was more than just that one night. <laughs> it was on, for like on, one year. On. It was, yeah, and Brandon had like something in him. So like, how crazy is it that he's right here? I know, I'm, the real I'm just like Drake <laughs> and Josh. I know, this is better than my wedding day. <laughs> I'm telling you, everyone was thought I was crazy, but I'm telling you guys. We grew up, we love Drake and Josh. We love that show. So I was legit mad at Brian. Like it was his fault that Drake went yeah, to school. I was like, oh yeah, Brian? I was like, yeah, Brian, you got to meet him and not me.
Guys, me and Brian have a million dollar question for Drake. This is so easy. So, ever since we were kids, me and Brian would argue this. So, I'm sure everyone knows the episode Theater where... Theater thug. Theater thug. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, the theater thug. Of course. Okay, so I think when Josh goes up... He oh, said, where's the money? Oh, yeah. Come he said, on. where's the money? I think... He, what do you think he says? Where's the money? I ain't playing. Right? I think he says, where's the money? I ain't paying. Uh, uh, Brian! Ah! Money, so it correlates to pain. But where's money? I ain't paying. Literally, you give me the money, I ain't paying. Pain, but where's money? I ain't paying. Literally, for yeah. yeah. it's playing. They've been arguing yeah. since this morning, let me tell no, you. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Come on. It's actually now my, a real thing. My childhood is ruined. <laughs> childhood <laughs> ruined. Cut, cut. After today, Brandon feels a different type yeah. of thing. <laughs> I'm not like, Actually, I don't like the show anymore. <laughs> yeah. He goes for I really like that hanging line. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo guys, so Drake's in the bathroom right now. I know. Oh shit, he came out. Drake Bell is actually using our bathroom. I'm gonna use it right after him. I don't care if I don't have to go. I'm still gonna use it right after him. I'm gonna die and in my funeral, I'm gonna say, I use the bathroom right after Drake Bell. This is crazy. It's like my whole childhood I'm looking at right in front of my own eyes. Yo guys, we came to meet up with some fans right now. What's up guys? I'm about to get a haircut and I saw that Snapchat. You canceled your haircut? No! Alright, let's all let's all get out of the parking Steph? lot. And come Stephanie's here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stephanie. Stephanie's here? What? <laughs> Guys, so Leo right here is a huge fan of all of us. And wait, sorry, what was your name again? Anita. Anita. And his mother right here is a huge fan. She's my mom and dad's biggest fan. Thank she is she's teared up. Yeah. When she saw that. It was crazy. Awesome. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Fuck boy and his idol, Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony's a fuck boy. <laughs> okay, guys, original fuck boy here. Listen, imagine how many girls did Drake make out with from the show? That's Anthony's idol. That is Anthony's idol. Imagine. Anthony learned how to be a fuck boy from Drake. Oh, no, I had to ask Drake. We want to know. How many, let me rephrase, how many dozens of girls did you make out with because of Drake and Josh? Wait, on the show on or the just show. because of Drake and Josh? Oh, because of Drake and Josh. That's going to oh, be thousands. hundreds. Yeah, oh, yeah. thousands. Hundreds. My bad. Who's talking to my bad, my bad. <laughs> I'm talking about on the show because this dude right on here is the a show, fuck boy. See, I don't know. I mean, there's been... We did how many episodes and there was at least two to three girls per episode. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Uh, oh, you love Drake. Who's my idol? Oh, yeah, he taught um, me how to make yeah, out, so know, thank you. Wait, did you ever I did not cheat. I don't... No, you I know what? Like I wasn't did. a big no. I was never a big cheater. I was a player though. But I was not, if I, had, I wasn't a big cheater. If yeah. I had, what was the line when you guys were at Helen's house after she got the um? That is not my job. Oh yeah, I remember. I was trying to think that is not my. Job. That is not my job. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Drake wants to watch Brian's vlog, so he's gonna see me and him fanboy <laughs> live. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Drake, can I tell you a secret? Yesterday, me and Brendan were sleeping. He wakes me up at 5 in the morning. And he's like, babe, babe. And I'm like, what? This is the seventh time he's woke me up. He's like, you know, Drake's coming. And I'm like, oh my god. This is better than Drizzy Drake. Wait, Drake. So, did you have a crush on Oprah too? On the low. On the low? On the low? Yeah. I, th <laughs> I think Josh is actually in jail for like. Going after Stop Oprah. Over. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What's the what's the best line? Wait, go get like the object. <laughs> okay, okay, wait. It's like this. Okay, go get it. <laughs> Is oh, it there? No. Okay. But I'll say it. Okay, fine. <laughs> no, I'm saying it. <laughs> what are you guys oh, doing? Yeah. Okay, go. Ah. Hey, hey! Don't beat that boy with a banana. <laughs> We have to take turns now. My turn. Okay, fine. Go. Beat me, beat me. <laughs> Tell me what Go. Hey, hey! Don't meet that boy with a banana. <laughs> oh, how about this? How about this? I oh. made a duck. I made a dick. <laughs> <laughs> he said I made a dick. No, he didn't. That's in the Drake and Josh explicit version. <laughs> I hope you go bald. Oh, you're not a true fan. I hope you go bald. I hope they cancel Oprah. Take that back. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hope you go bald. I hope they cancel Oprah. Take that back. 
Bruce Winchell? No. <laughs> Wait, would you fuck Bruce no, Winchell because of his hair? Do you know, um... Oh, sorry. Do you know the... Spencer? Crazy Steve! Yeah, Crazy Steve! <laughs> Steve. <laughs> you know Wait, remember when they're in the, the jacuzzi with Oprah? Or they they went to babysit Oprah's oh, house. It was not Oprah. Oprah. Oh, That's oh, Helen. Helen. The manager. Anthony thought it was Oprah. No, that is yeah, and no, and they said um and they said that is not my job. <laughs> that is not my job. Guys, I'm gonna leave this outro short and simple. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys all. This was such an exciting day, and I hope you guys felt the excitement through the video. I mean, like all the lines, all the freaking scenes that we saw growing up was happening again right there in our home i just who would have thought i would have never ever thought i don't know guys i'm just wow it's one of the most exciting days of my life just truly amazing shout out to drake for coming down really really cool dude off camera and on camera and just that's oh my god the if, I don't know. It felt so weird in a good way. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to check out Drake's channel. Thank you guys so much.